Hi, everyone. Uh, just wanted to give you a brief update on some happenings here at the YMCA of the Okabojis around philanthropy. And you're receiving this because you have been such a supportive donor of the YMCA of the Okabojis, whether that's Camp Foster, the Dell Family YMCA, or just supportive of the Iowa Great Lakes community as a whole. And so with that, uh, within this newsletter, you'll see a number of different happenings from the Igniting a Healthy Legacy campaign, as well as the 2024 annual campaign uh, supporting the YMCA of the Okaboji's mission to, to further services to all. And so with that, uh, just a brief update on the Igniting Healthy Legacy campaign. Uh, fundraising is ongoing as we are working towards uh, the beginning of construction for the visitor center at Camp Foster. Uh, right now, we still have about $400,000 still left to raise on that project. Uh, Carissa Noreen, who's joining me on this video, as our development coordinator has, has helped us with writing some significant grants towards that project, as well as helping us with uh, the completion of fundraising. And so we are still seeking support on that project. And if you have uh, questions about that specifically, there's more information within this newsletter, uh, but don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Carissa about uh, that specific project or the annual campaign with that. And so with that, I just wanna say thank you uh, for all of your support towards uh, the Igniting Healthy Legacy Campaigns Initiative, as well as those of you that have been annual campaign supporters. And with that, I'll let Carissa take over and talk a little bit about this year's annual campaign. Yes, thank you, Andrew. Hi, everyone. Uh, like Andrew said, my name is Carissa Noreen, and I've been here now for four, four months. It feels longer, so maybe that's a good thing. Um, but very excited that we've started the 2024 annual campaign. You might have already received some mailings about that. Um, and just a reminder on what that money is going to. So here at the YMCA, we offer financial assistance to those families or children or individuals in the area that are in need. And last year's campaign allowed us to assist 80 families and around 570 individuals. 60% of those were children. So, you know, this, this annual campaign is very important for us to continue to be able to provide this financial assistance. And also, if you weren't aware, um, this annual campaign money goes to uh, programs that are either free or low cost um, to our uh, community members who need that help. And some of those programs, just to mention, are before and after school program, Delay the Disease, uh, SAW, which is safety around water, very important to this area. And then um, also just diverse educational opportunities um, here at the YMCA YMCA and Camp Foster. So just wanted to uh, kind of just give that general update on, on why we do what we do. And then of course, the two fun things um, are, well, we do a lot of fun things, but two of the main fun things is our fundraising events coming up here. April 6th, we have our Strong Kids um, fundraiser and auction. Um, and that is gonna be at the Arnold's Park Pavilion. Um, like I said, on Saturday, April 6th, starting at five. PM. And you can register online. If you go to our website, there's a few places that you'll be able to see where you can register. And then also, um, oh, don't want to forget, Andrew, it's Luau theme. Wear your costume, yep. <laughs> and then the other event that we do every year is the golf outing. And that is going to be at Emerald Hills on June 7th. So it is a four-person team, um, eight-inch cup tournament correct and uh it's it's a great time from what i've heard so be sure to sign up for that before that fills up am i forgetting no, thank anything annual or no, for the thank campaign you, thank you carissa and as we mentioned a lot of the information is here it's in the newsletter uh but it again if you have any questions on where these funds go to support how they support the organization as well as the community uh please don't hesitate to let us know and uh, we'd be happy to visit with you and so with that, thank you as always for continuing to uh, strengthen so many people that we serve. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.